modeling a soccer ball, which people have done before, but they haven't done it procedurally, which means they haven't done it optimally. This super awesome, amazing tutorial is brought to you by Squarespace, but we are going to talk about that later. I have a basic scene to start off. Don't worry, I haven't already made the uh, soccer ball. I'm going to use an icosphere because if you lower the subdivision, you're going to notice that I can bevel not on edges, but on vertices. I have this kind of like hexagon here and then pentagons. And because this is going to be procedural, I'm going to do this beveling with a bevel modifier, which lets us decide kind of the aspect of this. First of all, sub divide this so we have more geometry to even push in the first place. And second of all, I want to save information about which of these are pentagons and which of these are hexagons. I can make an attribute on the faces called point count, and this is exactly what we need the uh, face neighbors node for. Vertex count tells us how many vertices are on a face. Control C and Control V to paste. I can check where this attribute is equal to either five or six. So not greater than, but equal to five and six, we get the others. And now that we have this extra geometry and we've stored our, you know, stuff that we want. Let's cast this back into a sphere. For that position, I'm going to take where it is and normalize that vector because I want every single point to be of unit distance away. They're all equidistant from the center. So now I have a sphere, but with information baked into it. Before we do this sphere step, I want to basically extract which parts are near an edge. I guess these are defined by where the angle is kind of sharp. Bring an edge angle. Actually, that's kind of a clever way to do it. This is not how I did it originally. If I subdivide more, you're going to see that this is going to become more and more kind of like compressed and clean. So this is also something I want to capture before I actually round it, because then our edge angle won't be the same as it was before. So I'm going to capture the angle. Now we can offset it by, let's say, the normal. But I'm only going to do this where the unsigned angle, actually this captured attribute, is greater than some value. So as I bring this up, a little hard to tell, but it is doing what we want to do. We are going to scale it. In other words, we are going to, you know, kind of control whether it goes in or out. I want there to be a bit of smoothness to this. So I'm actually going to connect the attribute to the scale. Get rid of that selection, actually. I believe we can smooth this a bit more if we kind of take out interval and clean it up a bit. So first of all, it should not be going outwards. I'm going to take the output to like zero to negative 0.1. So it kind of goes inwards a little. And then to get kind of like a softer situation over here, I can take this attribute and I can take that and we can blur it so just so there's a bit of a softer fall off. So you can see what blurring uh, basically does. This is without blur. This is with blur. We can smooth kind of these edges. And additionally, we can kind of pick the cutoff for this. You just want it to kind of look like a cushion. Let's set shade smooth. Remember, we do have that attribute from before that saved whether or not it's a pentagon or a hexagon face. So this is going to be easy. We're going to need a material. We'll call it soccer, not soccer ball, because I already typed it. And we can only go back. Not at all. There is no time travel. Is that true? We can't rewrite the past, but the future becomes the past. So can we write anything at all? I'm just going to make the fucking soccer ball. But I just wanted to emphasize that like all of it is procedural. I mean, look at that. And what I care about is our attribute. Do I still have it pasted? I do. You're not going to see it here. Or maybe just vaguely, because again, the hexagons are six and the pentagons are five. We want the fives and the sixes. So we go from five to six to zero to one. And voila, connect that there. Depending on how new your soccer ball is, it could be very shiny or very diffuse. I think this would benefit from just kind of like a hint of dirt, which we can do very simply or approximate very simply by using a noise texture. I like object coordinates, and we are going to take this noise texture and basically clamp bad boy in. More detail, more roughness until it looks like actual dirt. You could either do it as kind of like a roughness pass where some sections are dirtier than others. Another option is you can mix color, multiply it with the color black, and then this color ramp basically defines where that happens. The minimum roughness can't be like lower than 0.1 and the maximum roughness shouldn't be like pure dirt, but maybe like 0.75. I'm going to use the same info to basically run normal mapping, which will kind of emphasize the dirt, but by too much. So we're going to bring down that strength until it is barely noticeable. This will probably look better with our lighting setup anyways. And there you go. Soccer ball, but procedural. Anyways, thank you for watching my video. I hope it was useful. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this tutorial is sponsored by Squarespace. It's the best way to make a website. Beautiful templates to kind of pick and choose from, you drag around your elements, and construct a website like honestly within minutes. The Squarespace platform offers analytics so you know who is going to your website. They've got an asset library in the cloud so any image or video or asset that you have in your website you can store there is what I'm trying to say. If you're using your website as a commerce platform trying to make that money, then Squarespace is great because they accept pretty much any kind of payment you would expect somebody to make, PayPal, Visa, MasterCard, whatever. Head over to Squarespace, make yourself a website, and when you are ready to take that website live, you can use my link in the description to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you for watching my soccer ball tutorial.